Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a complete tutorial of AutoDS. We will be taking a look at the entire AutoDS platform, everything from how you can set up your account and get one free month of AutoDS, how you can use the winning product section to find awesome products for your store, how you can use the TikTok spy tool to look at other people's ad creatives on TikTok, spy on your competitors' Shopify stores, import products to your Shopify store with one click and much, much more. So if you have just picked up AutoDS or you are about to pick up AutoDS and want to learn how it works, this video is the perfect tutorial for you. With that out of the way, let's jump right into the tutorial. Okay, so if you clicked on that link down in the description, you will be taken over to this page right here. And as you can see, this is where you can start your trial and get started with AutoDS, where you can get your 30 day free trial. So all we need to do from here is either enter in your email address, full name, and then create a password, or you can also sign up with Google. I'm going to go with Google and just click on this and then select the Google account. And once you have entered in that information, it's then going to ask what we want to sell on. So in here, you can select where you will be selling. I'm assuming you will be selling on Shopify and I'm going to do the same. So just select Shopify right here and then we can click continue. And as you can see right here, we can actually get a 30 day free trial on any of these plans. So we have a few different options right here. We have import 200, we have starter 500 and advanced 1K. I always go for and recommend this starter 500 as you get access to all of these different tools right here. A lot of these you don't get access to on this import 200. However, with the advanced, we only get the ability to add more products add more stores and get VIP support. So this is a little bit overkill, especially if you are a smaller dropshipper. So just click on starter 500 right here. By default, we are going to be on the annual plan right here, which means after the trial, we will be charged yearly. So you can set this to annual if you want to do this, but I prefer to go over to monthly. The monthly cost is quite a little bit more expensive, but I just go for monthly anyway to make sure I don't get charged for the entire year. So we can click on start 30 day free trial and then in here, just go ahead and enter your card information. Once again, we won't be getting charged anything today as we are getting this free trial. Once all of that has been entered, we can click on continue. And we now have our auto DS account. They are then going to ask a few different questions. So just click on this X so we don't have to answer them. And the first thing AutoDS is going to ask us to do is connect up our Shopify store. So to do this, just click on add store in this top left corner. And then we have a few different options. We have an option to connect your Shopify store if you already have one. You can pre-build a store using AI, which we will talk about later. Or we can go ahead and set up a brand new Shopify account. If you do not yet have a Shopify account and want to set one up, I would not recommend doing it through this method right here, as this will take you through to the standard Shopify plan. Instead, if you go to the Shopify link down in the description, that will give you access to the extended trial of Shopify, where you can get the first three days for free and then the first three months for only a dollar per month. So either way, you either want to create your Shopify account and then once your Shopify account is created, come back to AutoDS and then click I have a Shopify store and then let's go through and do this. So click on continue. From here, it will then take us through to the Shopify app store and then AutoDS right here. You can see we have this install button. So just click on install and this will take us back over to AutoDS and we now have AutoDS connected to your Shopify store. So this right here is the main AutoDS dashboard. Over here on the left hand side, you can see the store that is currently active. If we click on this pencil icon, we can go in here, we can click on these three dots, rename your store, we can copy the AutoDS token, renew token, set store watermark, go into the settings or even delete this store. 
If you have multiple Shopify stores that you want to add to AutoDS, we can click on this add store button and then we can go through and connect up another Shopify store. In this marketplace section, this is where we can find different products to dropship on our Shopify store and use AutoDS as the supplier. So right at the top here, we have a few different options and filters. The first is being ships to. Now for pretty much any Shopify store, you are going to want to ship to the US. Over 80% of online purchases come from the US. So always a good idea to get the US here. You can also change the currency. We can choose where this is going to ship from, which can be important but where it ships from is definitely not as important as the shipping type. So I always like to leave this blank. I don't like to limit my choices when it comes to where I ship from. We can also choose the price range of the product that you are going to be drop shipping. So right here, I can choose only products that are between $5 to $15, $15 to $30, $30 to 100 and then 100 plus. We can also choose the supplier right here whether we want to go with AutoDS suppliers, whether we want to go with AliExpress, or we can choose Amazon suppliers as well. So in this example, if I flick this to AliExpress, this is only going to show me suppliers that are on AliExpress. And even if you want to use AliExpress as your supplier, you can still do all of this from inside of AutoDS. The only thing to keep in mind here is if you do select AliExpress, the shipping time is going to be a lot longer. So in my opinion, this kind of defeats the entire point of using AutoDS because the best part about this is if we go for AutoDS suppliers, you can see the shipping times are going to be so much better. In here, we can also choose from all of these different categories. We have toys and hobbies, home and garden, so on and so forth. And you can also use this search feature to search for specific products. For example, if I wanted to drop ship a smoothie blender, I can type in blender right here, click on search, and that's going to bring up all of these different blenders that I can potentially drop ship. If you want to use AutoDS to help you find winning products, they also have this winning product section on the left hand side. We can click into winning products, and as you can see, all of these winning products are going to show up. You do have to pay extra for this, so that is something that I will mention. This is $14.97. However, some of the products that me and my team have found by using this are absolutely fantastic and it is absolutely worth it. If you are wondering what kind of products are here and how do they find these winning products, AutoDS have a dedicated team. They basically handpick the top best sellers that they find from TikTok, different dropshipping stores that are doing well, and they curate all of these products into this list right here. They also give an in-depth product analysis showing what these products are usually being sold for, the potential profit on each product, the target audience that you will be targeting when selling these products, things such as the gender, the age range, marital status, interests, occupation, and this can be super, super handy, especially if you are running Facebook ads and this target information you can literally use in your ad. So I will give you an example with this Himalayan salt lamp right here. We can go ahead and click in. We can see the potential profit with this product is $42. We can see all of the different product images on this right hand side. Now these product images aren't the best. Maybe this one is okay, but you could definitely find some better ones by using Google. However, this is where we dive into the really juicy statistics. We can see the potential profit with each product, how much the product is usually being sold for on different stores, how many orders this has from this specific supplier, the engagement score, we can see how saturated this product is, all of the target audience information down here, and we can even see different ads that are being run on TikTok. Now, I don't want to play these as I'm not sure if I will get copyrighted. I don't really want to run that risk, but if you're doing your own research and you come into here, you can play all of these ads, see what is working on TikTok, and we can even go here, click on see original ad, and this is literally going to take us over to TikTok, show us the exact ad, the page that this has been posted by, 
and everything like that. Scrolling down, we can also see the exact competitors here. So we can see there's two Shopify stores. These are the prices of the product. And we can even click in and see the exact Shopify store that this is being running on. So you can not only find products, but you can also get inspiration on exactly how to build your store around this product from other competitors that are doing well. With any of these products, whether you are going through the regular marketplace right here or the winning product section, all we have to do to import these products to the store is click on import draft. And this is now added to our draft area. So if we now go over to the draft section of AutoDS, you can see the product that I just added in is now in this draft section. So we can either import this straight to our Shopify store right now, or what I would recommend doing is going in here and changing this terrible title that usually comes with most of the products that you will find. So what I'm going to do is just call this Real Rose with I Love You Necklace, get rid of all of this. We can also add and take away different tags. And then from here, we can simply click save and import. And this will now be imported directly to my Shopify store in one simple click, just like that. So if I now go over to Shopify in this products page and hit refresh, you can see that product has now been imported to my store. And then all I have to do is click in here. I can edit the product description, change all the images, change the pricing and everything like that. We can also do print on demand directly inside of AutoDS, which effectively eliminates the need for print on demand suppliers like Printify and Printful. We can see all of the different print on demand products that we can use. For example, I will go with this sweatshirt right here. We can click in and edit this product. And this is the design area right here. So let's imagine if I just go ahead and upload a design and I will put my logo on here. This image is now going to be uploading. And as you can see, just like that, I now have my image right here. Now, because I didn't specifically design this for print on demand, you can see the print quality is poor. So all I would have to do is go into Canva or another tool, make this bigger, and then the print quality is going to be better. We can select the colors over on this left-hand side. So I can choose all of these different colors that I want my shirt to be. And it actually won't let me go for this because the print design is poor. So let me, let me delete this and go for something else. And I will put on a thumbnail that I created earlier. I should make this nice and small. And then as you can see, there we go. The print quality is great. So I can now save this. And this item has now been added to my drafts. So all I have to do is go to drafts. There is the print on demand design that I just created. So once again, I can import this to my store. And then after a few seconds, once this has been fully imported, I can go back over to Shopify, go to my products. And just like that, the print on demand design and product that I just created is now in my store. Next, let's talk about this dashboard area. And this is where you can see an overview of all of the different products that you are dropshipping with AutoDS. So we can see an overview of the profit that we have made, the orders that we have through AutoDS, the total revenue and all of the new products. Now, any products that you import into your Shopify store using AutoDS, these are automatically going to be tracked right here. We can also see things like the average product, average seller order cost, average buy order cost, max profit on order, and total product cost. And everything is going to show up right here. We can also see the top selling tags and the top selling products in these sections down below. In the order section, this is where we can actually go ahead and we can start fulfilling orders through AutoDS. So let me actually give you an example here. If I set this rows right here to free, what I will do is I will place an order with my Shopify store and then show you how we can actually fulfill this on AutoDS. In here, we can now see that that order came in. We can see the exact product, what this is. We can see the date that this was sold, the status. So right now this is pending. We can send this to auto order or update this by ourselves. We can also see the estimated arrival and everything like that. 
We also get automatic tracking number updates that you can send to your customers and you can also auto fulfill orders. However, this does cost extra and you do have to buy credit. Down in products, this is where you can see all of the different products that you have imported to your store, how many are available, how many orders are on hold, if this is out of stock or not, the profit and all of the information right here. Finally, let's go into settings right here. You can mess around with things such as the supplier settings. So we can go for Amazon US, AliExpress, print on demand, and play around with the default product quantity, the default item country, the shipping methods, the default city. You can play around with all of these different settings. And you can also turn on these AI optimization settings to replace all of the titles with AI. You can also add AI descriptions. Let's go ahead and save this. Under plans and add-ons, this is where you can get any of the other plans if you want to sell on Etsy, Facebook Marketplace, eBay, anything like this. You can also add new users and add VAs to your AutoDS account. We can go up here to notifications and play around with all of these. Toggle on and off the notifications that are sent to your email. And then right here, we have the store settings where once again, you can add and delete your stores. So that is how you can use AutoDS. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.